let's get to offensive player of the year. Manny, I want to get your pick first and why. I got Justin Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, that 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 the man gets open. Uh that that's really all all there is to say about that. He's putting up some phenomenal numbers. Um just get him the ball. You know, I wish they would do that more with uh I'm going to be a little biased here with Devontae Adams. Uh just give him the ball a little bit more, but right now Justin Jefferson is going to win offensive player of the year. Do I think he's the best receiver? I don't necessarily believe in that part. Um I would give that to Adams still. But because of this year, Justin Jefferson is probably going to win off his play of the year. I also agree. I think Justin Jefferson is going to win for for my pick. Kevin, how about you? Uh, who's your pick for offensive player of the year? It's It's got to be Justin Jefferson, man. Uh, I know I got a lot of Vikings haters who are going to get on me for saying it, but it, but it got to be Justin Jefferson. The, if you can say you ended a season breaking Randy Moss's records, that's a hell of a season. He, he, yeah, and he, and he's like two hundred and thirty something yards away for two games. Like for him, that's nothing. Yeah. He can do that in one game. Uh, Javon, are you going to make it unanimous? Yeah, Jed is. Just, I think he's just a clear unanimous. Um, you said by two hundred yards, people are arguing that he's getting an extra game, but he is already ahead of Randy Moss's record, and they still have two more games to go. So I mean, it's just he's he's. I think he's the best receiver in, in the league right now. I don't think there's wow. no question about it. All right. Uh, let, we will – Kevin, Kevin's eyes just got big, but we'll save that for another day. Uh, Kevin even just said, wow, I could see that as well. Uh, we will save that for another He's day. He's a better route runner. He's a better possession receiver. We're moving on, Toddy. Come on, man. Defensive player yeah. of the year, gentlemen. <laughs> Defensive player of the year. I mean – We don't even, even got to talk about this one. We might as well just – Javon and I are both going with Nick Bosa. We think that it's obvious why we're going with Nick Bosa. Do either of you disagree on the Nick Bosa pick? I don't disagree. Nick Bosa, he he's a monster. Um, yeah, no, he he he's gonna. We win. owe that boy some money. Yeah, yeah. we owe we owe him a lot of money. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, do you disagree or is it unanimous? Unfortunately, I have to agree. You know, it's it's obvious. You, you see him, and you saw the impact of him getting hurt and coming back this year, and just it's it's a whole different defense. So you definitely got to give got to give us flowers. Okay, so this next one, I think that there are a handful of names that we could choose from, so I don't think it's going to be unanimous on this one. This one is Coach of the Year. Oh. So I'm going to start things off, and even though, and Kevin, don't get mad at me, even though in our group chat the other day, I did say uh, if Nick Sirianni wasn't there, then Kyle Shanahan would have a chance. But Javon got me thinking, and Kyle Shanahan really has done more with less. The fact that he has a third string quarterback out there who is three and zero, leading them to the playoffs and to a division title, and the fact that he was the last pick in the draft this past year's draft, he's a rookie, last pick in the draft, third stringer. Didn't think that he would even see the field this year, and the fact that the 49ers are, I mean, and I get it. A lot has to do with the defense and that guy that we were just talking about, Nick Bosa, but to me. Kyle Shanahan, like he gets a lot of flack for past years. The Niners not being that successful. He's only led them on one playoff run the entire time he's been there so far. I think, I think that's correct. No, two playoff runs, obviously last year. Uh, and then um, anyways, I just think that this year it's Kyle Shanahan because he has done more with less, but Nick Sirianni to me is, is a close second. Um, Kevin, I want to get to you next. Are you, are you going to go with uh, Sirianni? It, it's the easiest choice. If, you, if he's giving us the answer to the quiz, I gotta gotta, give, gotta choose the right answer. It's gotta be Nick Sirianni. You know, Toddy mentioned it uh, last year with the team we had. We we struggled early. Uh, we figured out the run game was unstoppable. Uh, we made it to the playoffs uh, in his first year as a coach uh, to build that to build on that and just be consistent and to come in here and could possibly clinch the number one seed. It's it's gotta be Nick Sirianni. Okay, Javon, how about you? Hey man. Hey man. You know, going into the year, being, you know, coming off NFC championship year, you know, everybody's saying this and that. The Rams are gonna win the division. All this Trey Lance's first year. Oh no, Trey Lance just shattered his ankle. Damn. Out for the year. We gotta run with Jimmy G. Jimmy G fractures his ankle. Oh my god. Season's in the shitter. There's no Still way is. that there's there's no way. <laughs> okay, that, Kevin. There's no way in hell that this Niner team is gonna be able to just 
get out there. Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. Me? 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 You. You. Me go in there? you. You. Mr. The last pick in the draft? Me? Oh, I'm just going to go 4 0. And every time I play in the game, and just, I have the best defense in the, I got the best defense in the league backing me up. I got pro bowlers everywhere on my offense. All I got to do is just give the guy the ball. I mean, how is it not Kyle Shanahan when you have two catastrophic injuries to your quarterback who you drafted third overall, the guy who just took you to the NFC Championship game, both go down, and you're asking Brock Purdy to get out there and start swinging the run? And the Niners are 9-4 and four, or 11-4, and four, and they're they won the NFC. You already won the NFC West. And there's no way. The worst Kyle, division in football. Congratulations. Kyle not being talked about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not the worst. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not the worst. Okay. The AFC Our South on line one. <laughs> okay, you guys are on line two. Our quarterback's been out Maybe for line how three. long? How many weeks? Jalen Hurts goes down and all hell breaks loose. The, the sky is falling. The he Eagles lost by six lose. points. The Eagles lose. <laughs> we had a loss for Jalen Hurts. Why? Why did you lose? You didn't have your quarterback, right? Kyle That's Shanahan doesn't have his quarterback. We gave him so a third. Sad. We gave him a Kyle third and thirty. Kyle Shanahan didn't have his quarterback <laughs> for how many weeks? It's been like a month. We went undefeated in December with Brock Purdy as a quarterback. That's all I got to say. No, you guys beat the Seahawks, right. the Dolphins, and the Commanders, hey, and the man. Bucks. Congratulations. With a, hey, man. Mr. Irrelevant is our quarterback. You could have been the quarterback, Tony. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anybody can be the quarterback, and we'll just be the number one team in the league. I mean, come And on, why is that? Because of Nick Bosa and Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Manny, Shanahan. I, I want to get your pick. Are, are you siding with Kevin uh, on this one? I would... I was going to, mm. uh, if you would have mm. asked me a couple weeks back. Oh, I was going to, if you would have asked me a couple weeks back. Um, here, here, my me, me too. Because of what, because of what they're doing. You know, the Eagles, they're they're playing phenomenal football. They got probably one of the easier schedules too. But you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. We're not here to There's talk. Some chinks okay? in that. We're not here now. to talk. We're not here to talk about that. Um, so let's move on. I, I digress. But recently, with Purdy coming in there um, and Kyle dialing up the oh. plays to make it easier for him, because at first, you know, Trey Lance, he got hurt, and then, you know, Jimmy G stepped up and got in there. But that's not really much of a huge change because Jimmy G's been there before, okay? So that's not really huge. But to see Brock Purdy get in there, and now he's, what, 4-0 now as a starter? 3-0 yeah. as a starter, 4-0 in yeah. the games he's played. Yeah, exactly. So – that that shows something that shows something and what that shows is coaching coaching is important you know mm. you take brock purdy put him in let's say on any other team i don't know if you'll get the same results and so um yeah i'm gonna have to go with i'm gonna have to go with kyle right now sean is the award called coach of the year or coach of the last four games it's coach of the year, year. Granted, he still, he he still is on his third year. quarterback now he on his third quarterback now. Was purdy. He on his third <laughs> quarterback now Hey, Toddy, how many wins y'all in a row is it? Y'all lost your quarterback, y'all lose. That's all I got to say, man. We lose our quarterback and we win the division. You guys played the Seabirds. Come on, man. Hey, the no, Seabirds no, no. were just in playoff contention. So we played, are we the, beat the, the team Commies. That beat Come on, man. Y'all was – y'all. We, we beat them too, Toddy. We, we just beat the team that beat y'all the end of y'all undefeated streak with our third <laughs> streamer. That's all I got to say, man. All right, Jaylen all right, guys. We, out, y'all lose. We got we got to keep it pushing. We got to keep it pushing just in – the idea of time. So, offensive rookie of the year, Manny. I want to get your pick for offensive rookie of the year first. I'm a little biased. Okay, I'm a little biased. Okay, get a Seattle Walker. fan, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. We, I, I'm gonna go with Walker. He's a dog. Walker has been playing phenomenal. Mm. He's that guy. He is. He is that guy. Now, the other argument I can make um, is if this person didn't get hurt and didn't miss out on a couple of games, would be Christian Watson. Mm-hmm. He's been playing mm-hmm. phenomenal too. His year two has a lot of upsides. He's catching a lot of. But touchdowns. I would but, say right now, Kenneth Walker. Okay, the official pick is Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker the third, right? The, the, yes, the, sir, the yes, third. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the third. 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 All, right, all right, Kevin. For for you, offensive rookie of the year. You know, it's just this receiver out of wide receiver. You, I don't have to say the university for you guys to understand, but you know, everybody it, it, knows. Everybody knows. It, it's yeah. <laughs> So but which it, one? Which one Ohio? is it? Because there's many. There's the Bobcats. It's Gary Wilson, man. It's got to be Gary Wilson, <laughs> hands down. 
All right. Kevin is going with Garrett Wilson. Javon, how about you? Yeah, I think it's going to GW, uh, Garrett Wilson. I think he's, oh, just, he's just going out there. Ah. He's. It doesn't matter who's his quarterback. Mike White, uh, Joe Flacco, <laughs> Zach Wilson. I mean, it just doesn't matter who's the quarterback. He's going he's gonna to produce. And I think he's going to be one of the better receivers in the coming years. But I think it's going to be Garrett Wilson. So I'm also going to go with Garrett Wilson for everything that both of you just said. But I, I just want to say honorable mention, obviously, to the other star receiver from wide receiver U, and that is Chris Olave, who had a great start to the season. He's kind of tapered off a little bit. He was out a couple games. Andy but Dalton's his quarterback. He, <laughs> there you go. That says everything right there. So now let's get to defensive rookie of the year. Javon, uh, is another Jet? going to win another rookie of the year award it's sauce man that boy is sauce island he's got his own buffalo wild wing sauce he's doing all this <laughs> other stuff he's got a he's got a bottle that actually had sauce in it as a chain he put sauce in the chain i just think that he, you know he's a pro but he's already he's already a pro bowl i think he'll be an all pro this year he's just taking away his side of the field people don't throw out sauce so you know, we saw the the talent at Cincinnati, but him to just come in first year, just being damn near the best corner in the league, it's it's got to be sauce, man. Kevin, how about you? Hey, man, you got the sauce in the chain. It got to be sauce, Carter, <laughs> man. It's the next day of Revis. There they play you go. With the right. too. Manny, how about you? Is it is it sauce? Yeah, I saw you shaking your head. I mean, I'm biased on this one again. Tyreek Woolen. Oh. Tyreek Woolen. Come on now. <laughs> Come on Another now. Pro Six bowler. interceptions? Six interceptions? Yeah. Okay. What, what's, what's the name of the game? Go get the ball. Okay? At the, Go he, get the ball. He's playing he corner. Go get the cover Tom Brady. Go get the ball. Okay? He got more pass deflections as well. He, might and he be has more interceptions. Go get the ball. Yeah, he's a, he, 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 he's that guy. Okay. But the only reason why I'll say he has more interceptions, they don't even throw the sauce. So they don't even look his way. That's my only <laughs> thing. They threw it to sauce. He might have the most interceptions in the league. That's all I got to say. Easy. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to make it unanimous as well. I think uh, everything is going to, for the ROI, it's going to go to the JETS, 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 Jets. And uh, Sauce Gardner, I mean, he's got it. Like it everything when it comes to to it all right so the last award that we are going to make our picks on is the comeback player of the year and i'm just going to give mine first and i'm just going to say i i decided not to write back but i am going to go with geno smith i i had to go with i had to go with the the tagline of the year for geno somehow he started it out Somehow he's a pro bowler, and that is exactly why he is my comeback player of the year because he sat on the bench for a good nine years. And, like, he w- he started out with the Jets, and he was the starter for the Jets. And then when he was with the Jets, right, wasn't that when he got punched in the locker room? He got sucker punched in the locker room by one of his teammates. <laughs> yeah, and then he bro. went to the other team in New York, and he played for the Giants. He filled in for Eli Manning a little bit. And then he uh, he was actually the one who ended Eli Manning's uh, consecutive start streak that was over 200. Giants fans freaked out. Then Gino ben, uh, Gino went right back to the bench. Eli finished out his career. And so I'm happy to see Gino. Even though the the Seattle Seahawks, I was about to say what I usually call them, but the Seattle Seahawks uh, are not going to make the playoffs in my opinion. But to me, Gino Smith is the comeback player of the year. Um, I want to get to Manny. Manny, what's what's your pick on this one? Another Seahawk, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, come on now, three in a row, three in a row. Gino, he's that guy. Uh, three he in is a row, that guy. Gino. <laughs> now, granted, will I see him long term being a QB? Oh hell no! I don't know. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. I don't know. Hell no. I don't know. Hey, the fact the fact that you have to say I don't know already <laughs> tells everything. Know. He knows. But the fact that he came back and did his thing and uh, made it respectable. For Seattle, because uh, a lot of people thought we weren't going to win, you know, at least like three games. Including you. Hey, hey, listen, listen, we 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 don't know. We don't know. But uh, um, the other argument would be uh, Saquon, um, just because, you know, he came back from an ACL tear. And That's a good one. Saquon, if you've been watching him, but, he's, he's yeah. still Saquon. He's still Saquon. He still has, you know, those glimpses and flashes of those highlight plays if you see him just running the ball. 
Um, but I think it's going to end up going to Geno Smith and him winning, going into and making the Pro Bowl um, is phenomenal. But I think that also shows a testament of the non elite quarterbacks in the NFC <laughs> uh, compared to the AFC. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to Geno. Yeah, and I, I think the only argument against Saquon would be the fact that he did come back last year and kind of got his legs under him, but he's back to that elite level this season, which is what we we love to see from Saquon for sure, which is why Gino might run away with the award. <laughs> Kevin, for you, is it Gino? It's got to be, man. <laughs> and uh, Javon, Javon as well for you, are, are you going to make it unanimous and, and make it Gino as well? It's Christian McCaffrey. It's not Gino Smith. I'm sorry, man. This is blasphemous. Gino, Gino Smith, Pro Bowler, Gino Smith. Really, is Gino Smith really a Pro Bowl quarterback? That's like I can't really get over that, man. I don't think he's that guy. I think it's Christian McCaffrey. I think just his usage ever since he's been on the 49ers is just from pass catching to running the football. Just to be finding having a nose for the, he threw a he threw a touchdown pass. <laughs> He's thrown a touchdown. What can't this guy do? I mean, you could line him up in the slot against a DB he is against a linebacker. I just don't see how it's not Christian McCaffrey. Although it's probably gonna go to Geno Smith just based off of the fact that oh he beat Russell Wilson and all this other stuff and he's a Pro Bowler now, but you look at the stats, it's, it's Christian McCaffrey. 